Swayam Prabha. Digital India. Educated India. So welcome back uh, again. So now uh, today I I will give you uh, the small introduction of uh, one dimensional conservation law. This is uh, or I just write so derivation of law. So I restrict myself to one dimensional case. So it is it will be easy to understand. And so this uh, lecture I have taken from the book by Lebeck as a so it is a numerical. Methods for the title is numerical methods for conservation laws. So you can find uh, detail uh, in this book. It is a uh, quite uh, old. It is thirty years old book. So let us start uh, one arbitrary arbitrary section of of a tube so this is uh, the pipe or tube whatever you call so it has some section are uh, started from x1 to x2 suppose you have the gas or air inside this uh, uh, this tube and uh, let uh, suppose x be the Position of at uh, any point of tube. So here we consider an arbitrary tube of section. x1 to x2 and x be any position somewhere in the tube and there is a air and uh, so suppose the density of the the air or velocity of the air in every section of the tube is the across the cross section is a constant if you have different section so the density and velocity of the tube is constant. So let suppose rho. This is the density. Let rho t x be the the density of gas at time t. And uh, position position x. So then, if you know the density, you can measure what is the total uh, mass. Uh, the total mass of a gas m is equal to if you integrate from x one x2 with respect to x so this m is a function of time t if you integrate with respect to x then you get the total mass of the the gas yeah so i just call it as the equation number one 
and then so we assume that there is no creation of the gas through the wall. It means neither you have creation nor you have destruction. It means the, the wall is impermeable. So it means what we have that the change of mass is just across the in point x1 and x2. So whatever it goes in or whatever it goes out, so there we get the, the change of the mass. So it is not creating from the wall. So wall is totally impermeable. So we have the density and suppose let u is the, be the velocity of gas at time t and position position x and then we can define the rate of change we can define the flux yeah we can define the rate of flow the rate of flow the mass flux given so mass flux at time t and x is equal to it is the multiplication of rho and so this gives you the, the mass flux or it is uh, that rate of flow at a position at a time t with the position x. So the rate of so uh, the rate of the, the mass, the change of mass happened only across the point x1 and x2. So therefore uh, the change, so the rate of change of mass is with respect to time, the rate of, of mass with respect to t, with respect to time t, across the, the wall in x1, x2, yeah? so it happened only the difference in the flux in the left and in the right. So is uh, given by Difference of flux in x1 and x2. So, what is the rate of change with respect to m? So, it means you have dy dt, which is the m, the change with respect to time, is equal to. So, in the equation one, what we have? We have this part. Yeah? So, here we can just derive d by dt of integral x1 to x2 rho of dx dx. So from this statement what happened? The change of mass happened only the difference of the flux at different point. So what we get uh, that the difference of flux means rho at time t x1 u t x1 minus rho t x2 u t x2. So it happened only the difference in the flux. So this is called, this is called integral form of conservation of mass. It means we do not require any differentiability. So it is just uh, we have that if you just forget, you have the integral. So rate of change of the mass is just a difference of the flux. So I just denote it as the equation number two. So now I just write 
into the differential form. So, what is the differential? Differential form of conservation of mass. So, the integral form is little bit weaker. So we don't have any any condition of the the differentiability. So differentiability means it is uh, you have the derivative and the, the after that it is the continuous. So we don't have that much. It is just a continuous function, but not the differentiability. So now I the now we form of different uh, conservation of mass uh, in the differential form. So here, what uh, we do is that if I integrate this part, yeah. So if I just integrate uh, this equation with respect to time. So if I integrate this equation number three, integrating equation three with respect to time t from t1 to t2. Suppose t2 is greater than t1. Yeah. So what will happen? Now I just write the integration. So here integration of t1 by t2 d by dt in then our original form x1 to x2 rho tx dx is equal to integration of this part t1 to t2 rho tx1 u tx1 minus rho tx2 u t x2 dt. Now what will happen? So now you can change the order of integration and then so, so here still we have the dt here. So you change the order of integration what we get explicitly that we have the x1 to x2 and we get the difference rho at t2 x minus rho at t1 x dx this is we get from here is equal to here t1 to t2 rho t x1 u t x1 minus rho t x2 u t x2 so close the bracket it is with respect to dt yeah so this is uh, the, uh, the integration with respect to dt now i just write this as equation number so we have one, two, and now it is three. So if you write, so we can still write one more thing is that if you just put this part on the right hand side, what will happen? Or, so I can write x1 to x2 rho t2 x dx. This part I put on the right hand side. So it is. Uh, x1 to x2 rho t1 x tx plus so t1 to t2 rho t x1 u t x1 minus rho t x2 u t x2 dt. So what does it mean? 
the total mass in x1 to x2 at time t2 is the total mass from x1 to x2 at time t1 plus the difference of the flux across the end. Yeah? So it means that what we had in the beginning, the total mass, and after some time, if we have some change of the mass, something is coming in, something is going out. If we take the difference of these two fluxes at time t1 to t2, then that will give the total mass at the later time step t2. So it means that uh, this implies what we can say that total mass at uh, time t2 is equal to total mass at time t1 plus the, the mass flux as difference of mass fluxes from in the in x1 and x2 at time so during the time not at during time interval t1 to t2. It means what we had already assumed that there is nothing creation, no, no, or nothing destruction through the wall. So only the change happened from this uh, to end. Now we assume one more thing that since we want to have in the differential form, so we assume that Suppose the density and the velocity of the gas are differentiable. It means we can take the derivative and after the derivative they are continuous. Yeah? So we assume one more thing. So I think I can now remove this part. Assume root Tx and U Tx are are differentiable. So if they are differentiable, then we can have this, uh, then the identities hold. So the first identity is that if we have rho t2x minus rho t1x is nothing else if we just take the integral from t1 to t2 then del by del t of rho tx dt yeah so if we have the derivative of rho with respect to t so this is the first identity and the second, what we have, we can have rho, since we have this difference of this density here, yeah? So we want to make this part as a, uh, the, in the differential form. So rho of t x2, rho of t x1 minus rho of t x1, rho of x2 is nothing else. It is an integral from x1 to x2, partial derivative with respect to x, rho of tx, u of tx, dx. Yeah. So this is, these are the identities. 
So I just call it as equation number four and it as equation number five. And now using these two identities, these two, and using the equation number three here, yeah, using this equation number three. So rho t two x minus rho t one x dx. Yeah. So I can just write this t two x minus t one x into the first identity four, and this the integrand of this equation three I can write to the second identity. Yeah. Let us see what will happen from equation number three and identities four and five, we have, so what we will have? So I just take the left hand side x1 to x2 rho t2 x minus rho t1 x. So I am rewriting again. So dx, yeah, let me rewrite again for the sake of simplicity. So here t1 to t2. Rho t1 x1 u t x1 minus rho t x2 u t x2. So this is dt. Now I just put this part here from power. Yeah. So the integral is there already or x1 to x2, this part from 4, so which is nothing else integral from t1 to t2. So I write this partial derivative of del by del t of rho t of x dt, then the dx, the original one, okay. So so the dx and this part is this part is equal to now t1 to t2 and then this part is from this identity. So it is a del by del x. So so one more x1 to x2 del by del x of rho t of x to t of x dx dt. So now it is clear. So I am rewriting this from that equation. Now rho t2 x minus rho t1 x is, so it is integral of this one. This difference is integral from t1 to t2. And this part, del by del t, rho t x dx dt, and then the d, this dx is this here, and then this part, so it is already t1 to t2, and this difference of flux is coming from this identity number 5, so it is integral from the x1 to x2, it is a del by del x of rho tx utx, and this dt is here, yeah? So I think everything is clear up to now. Now we can change, you know, from the calculus that we can change the order of integration. So now it is changing the order of integration. What we get is that, so let me, right now I think we don't need this one. So up to here, let me write it here. So changing the order of integration, it means uh, I can write uh, this one, t1 to t2, x1 to x2. So here, del by del t of rho tx dx dt is equal to again t1 to t2, x1 to 
x2 del y del x rho tx u tx dx dt. So now we have assumed that this r the tube is the section x1 to x2 is very arbitrary and also the time interval also arbitrary. So it means sorry what we have here. So one more thing. So here what we have the difference uh, is that rho t x1 u t x1 minus rho t x2 u t x2. Let me correct. Yeah. This is now if I take this difference then what we have here is instead of this part, so we have the minus sign here. So we need to put this is a minus, yeah. So here we still have minus. So I put it all together. So the integral from t1 to t2, x1 to x2, and now del y del t of rho tx. Plus, so this minus coming to the left hand side is a positive sign del by del x of rho of tx u of tx tx dt. So, since the time t1 to t2 and x1 to x2 is arbitrary since the section x1 to x2 and the t1 to t2 arbitrary and this integral is equal to so now this is equal to 0 here so so this is I call equation number six. The integrand of equation six must be zero. That means what do we get? Del by del t of rho t of x plus del by del x of rho t of x u t of x is equal to 0. This is equation number 7. So, this is called the differential form. So, equation 7 is called the differential form of conservation law. So it is also called nothing, it is also called the continuity equation. Yeah. So I think now I can remove this part also called conservation of mass or continuity So I think uh, I come to the I come to the end of the, the lecture. The derivation of the continuity equation I have uh, finished, and from the next lecture I will show what are the example. How can we manipulate this? Because we have now two unknown rho and u and one equation. So we have to close the system. So I will explain it in the next lecture. Thank you very much.